Welcome to the ITU studio, the World's Telecommunication Development Conference here in Kigali, Rwanda, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Artie Holler, who is the Secretary General of JASOA, which is the Global uh, Satellite Operators Association. And uh, I would like to welcome to the studio, Artie. Thank you, Max. It's great to be here again with you. Now, last time we met, you were here as Secretary General of ISOA, which uh, was the EMEA, uh, Satellite Operator Association. Now you're here as Secretary General of JISOA. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the, this evolution and what, is, what has changed. Absolutely. Max, we have expanded to become the Global Satellite Operators Association in view of the fact that connectivity challenges are global and global challenges require a global response. Uh, we had in our constitution a limitation in the membership criteria and we decided it was time to remove that to enable also operators and satellite companies which are based either in the Americas or in the Asia Pacific region to also join. Um, it's very clear to us that policymakers want to bridge their digital divides no matter where they are and we can only do that if we come together and speak with one voice uh, which represent, represents operators on all regions. Now we've seen you at many ITU events, I wanted to ask you why is this event at uh, WTDC here in Kigali, Rwanda, uh, important to JASOA? You know, this WTDC is particularly important. At the last one, we talked about the digital divide being 3 billion people, and at this WTDC, we're hearing how it has reduced to 2.9 billion. We could celebrate the achievement of 100 million new people that we have connected, but you know, I asked one of my members, particularly good at maths, which I'm not good at, to do the maths for me and tell me, well, at that rate, how long would it take us to actually get rid of the digital divide globally? And would you believe it, it'll take more than 100 years, Max. That is not something which uh, I think the world and policymakers are ready to accept. We must accelerate it. Uh, and so, just so our members are here, uh, we want to seize the momentum, follow the leadership of the ITU, which is you know, inviting everybody to really step up to this challenge now. Um, and and uh, satellite operators are very conscious of, of the responsibility that is incumbent on them to make sure that satellite can play its rightful role in helping to bridge the digital divide. Now this WTDC has kicked off with a partner to connect and uh, a lot of, be lot of pledges being made here. Has JASOA made a pledge and if so, what, what, what is it? Yes, look, we are very conscious of the fact that uh, climate emergencies and disasters resulting from climate change are on the rise, geopolitical tensions are on the rise and we're emerging from the pandemic. So it is absolutely at the forefront of everybody's mind that we must bridge the inequalities that exist and so in view of that, that JASOA has made two pledges. The first one is to increase the number of satellite data connections around the world by 250% by 2030 and to do so by preserving the space environment for future generations uh, at the same time. And secondly, this is more of a programmatic pledge. We want to really do um, uh, uh, workshops on regions around the world to foster a greater understanding of how to leverage satellite connectivity. We think this is particularly important given the amount of innovation that's happening in our sector there's so many new systems, new solutions, and it's, it's obvious that uh, policymakers may not necessarily know how to license them, how to um, ensure their deployment. Um, we're also creating the opportunity for our members um, to do trials to demonstrate affordable, meaningful connectivity for LDCs, LLDCs and SIDs all around the world. Um, we also want to, of course, support more disasters. Uh, it's clear to administrations that satellites are essential when disaster strikes, but nonetheless we see that even in high-risk zones for countries like Mozambique, which has been struck by so many disasters, uh, those countries that still are not prepared. So we want to really enhance that and make sure that countries are very prepared for disasters. And finally, um, we are going to work with the ITU to produce a satellite playbook uh, to collect case studies, best practices and reference ar architectures for solutions from JASOA members that can be replicated and scaled up in different countries around the world. Oh, that sounds fabulous and it's very valuable uh, and uh, much needed. Uh, so, well, thank you very much for sharing all of that with us and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again very soon and uh, I'm sure uh, we'll, we'll be, have a lot to talk about next time too. 
Thank you. Max, I wanted to say that we've already started uh, with our pledge. Yesterday we signed a letter of understanding with the Rwandan Space Agency to work concretely on supporting the deployment of satellite communications in rural Rwanda, where this WTDC is taking place. And I must say it's been a pleasure to be here. I'm delighted that we've been able to really seize the momentum. And I hope that we can meet again at the next WTDC and talk about a much reduced digital divide. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thank you, Max. Cheers.